Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Page Setup group on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon contains buttons that allow you to make changes to the fundamental setup of the document. In addition to these buttons, you can also click the Page Setup dialog box button in the lower right corner of this button group to open the Page Setup dialog box. Here you can change any aspect of the document setup that you choose. This dialog box consists of three tabs, Margins, Paper, and Layout. Let's examine the aspects that you can set in this dialog box. On the Margins tab, you can set the margins for the document. Simply set the top, bottom, left, and right margins to the length or width that you desire by either typing the measurement units into the boxes provided or using the spinner arrows at the right of each box. You can also set the gutter margin, which is the amount of wasted space allotted for binding, if you are printing a document that you wish to bind. You can also use the gutter position drop-down to select the side of the document where you want the gutter margin to appear. In the orientation section, you can select either a portrait or landscape page orientation for your document or document section. In the Pages section, you can select the method for printing multiple pages from the Multiple Pages drop-down. On the Paper tab in this dialog box, you can select the size of the paper onto which you will be printing this document. In the Paper Source section, you can set to which tray of the printer, if you have a multi-tray printer, you will print the first page of your document and then make a tray choice for the subsequent pages. On the Layout tab, you can set section break behavior in the section area if desired. You can also set some of the options for headers and footers in the Headers and Footers section. This replicates the functionality shown in the Headers and Footers Context tab. However, you can set your options here if you prefer. In the Page section, you can set the vertical alignment of the page using the drop-down available. This allows you to change the vertical alignment of the text that is on this page to the center, top, or bottom of the page. You can also set line numbers and page borders here if desired by clicking either of the two buttons for those options at the bottom of this page and then making the settings that you desire. At the bottom of this dialog box on all of the tabs is the Apply To drop-down where you can choose to which part of the document you want the page properties that you just set to affect. You can apply your changes to the entire document, just the section you were working on, or everything in the document from this section forward. Once you have the settings that you want for your document, click the OK button. Yeah. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.